Hey, I'm Jeff and welcome back to another video. I have a bunch of plant tasks that I have to get done today. I've been putting off a few things for far too long. I have to take some uh, plants out of moss, whoops, and uh, put them in a bit more of a chunky aeroid mix. Today's also Canadian Thanksgiving, so I'm not only doing plant stuff, I'm also getting turkey and all the house stuff uh, ready for family when they come over it later this afternoon. So it's gonna be kind of a busy day, but uh, yeah, I got some stuff I gotta get done. Plus I'm gonna show you a little bit of an update on some of my plants on planks. I gotta do a little bit of watering. So I think I'm actually gonna start with that first. So let's get into it. I just made a video on all of my anthuriums and here is my regale. I've been watering it every few days, uh, just testing out the perlite. If you squish some perlite and it's dry and kind of flaky, then it needs some water. If there's a little bit of moisture on your fingers, then you don't need to water. So it's pretty dry right now. So I'm just gonna give this one a little bit of water. Just till it comes out the bottom of the drain holes like that. And I'll move on. I have all these uh, newer propagations and stuff on a heat mat here. Here is another elephant ear. I'm not, I can't remember which one this is. This, I believe is a colocasia. Here is another colocasia, the mojito. This is the newest leaf. Here's this crispy little guy and it's getting a new one down there as well. This is one of my newer plants. This is the Alocasia gagiana. It's the variegated, or the Aurea. It's the variegated uh, green and yellow. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a new leaf as of like a few days ago. This one's getting pretty, uh, pretty dry. It's definitely gonna have to upsize this into something a little bit larger here soon, but I'm gonna give this some water. I don't want this one drying out. Got to keep these ones well watered. Here is another alocasia. This one is getting quite large. It's in a beautiful little Mexican pottery pot. Look at these leaves, they're getting huge. Here's what the plank wall looks like right now. Here's my Cebu Blue. Here's my Golden Pothos. They're sizing up quite nice. It's uh, constantly growing all the time. This is the coolest part about this little plants on planks. Look at all these aerial roots just latched on. It doesn't even need the uh, support ties anymore. And look how thick the stem is getting. That's absolutely insane. Here's the, the newest leaf. It's almost the size of my hand now. I am super happy with these uh, planks. Here is a Raffida for Decursiva, Dragon's Tail. It's getting a new growth plant. It's just kind of sneaking off to the side over here. I don't know what it's doing there. It's gonna latch onto my wall. I gotta correct that. Here's my Syngonium Mojito. It's getting another new leaf here as well. Uh, it's getting quite large. These two here are my pride and joy. This is the Hawaiian Golden Pothos. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. This is the Hawaiian Golden Pothos. And this is actually a Marble Queen. Look how stunning these leaves are. Just absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait. This is probably my favorite uh, plants on planks right now. Just the variegation on this one is just stunning. Look at that. Now I just gave all of these water yesterday, but what I do is I take my little spray wand and put it on the plank just like this. And then I just soak the wood so that it trains these aerial roots to latch onto. You can see this one right here is actually wrapped right around the plank. And these guys are locked on there nice and secure. And that's all I do is I just water the plank and I let it kind of drip down into the soil. So the first thing I want to do is take this philodendron out of the uh, sphagnum moss. I just want to put it in a nice chunky aeroid mix. I do have a container of filtered water right here and I also did soak the moss for uh, about five, 10 minutes. I'm going to try and get this one root that is sticking out of the pot just to kind of pull through or snake it through. I don't want to tear it off. There we go. And I'm trying my best not to damage any of the leaves. Uh, it's really floppy right now. Like it's, it's just sitting on top of the moss and it looks like it's held in by a couple larger roots. This is why I dislike moss. Look at how entangled the roots are. It's not only like the large roots, but the, you got these secondary roots that are just they're embedded in this moss and I don't want to like just pull on it so that it tears them all off. Yeah. See like right here, that is a long secondary root just torn right off. That's a shame. Okay, I got most of the moss off. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but I just wanna show this was the size of pot that I had picked out 
and look at the root system. So if I put it in this size of pot, it's already kind of encircling. So I'm gonna have to find something a little bit larger. That was kind of unexpected. Okay, I picked out a pot that is slightly larger than the original one I had picked out. And so it looks something like this. Roots will sit in there nicely. I'm just using a really chunky uh, soil mixture. It's a combination of Promix's tropical plant soil, as well as their orchid bark. I just use basically like a 50-50 mixture. It's just a really nice, well-draining soil. So now all I'm gonna do is just hold the plant in the center of the pot like this. And I'm just going to fill soil around the plant here. The stem that it had was a little bit curved, so I'm trying to position this so that the new growth will grow straight upwards. And at some point, I may have to add a support stake or even like a moss pole or something like that so that it can grow up. I definitely don't want it like flopping over or moving like it is right now. I have to maybe push it down a bit more. I don't want to push too hard because last time I did that, I severed all the roots off of my uh, Scandapsis Jade Satin. Not good, that was not a good situation. Um, I currently have, if you've seen that video, I currently have those uh, broken rooted ones in perlite right now. It didn't do well when I just kept it in the soil. So it is rooting in the perlite prop box and it actually has some small little roots right now, which is nice. This is my crazy out of control Anthurium Aquarium Malens. I just did an Anthurium collection video. So if you wanna go check that out, I'll leave it up in one of the top corners. Uh, this is actually the second take for this clip in particular. I just realized I didn't have, again, my microphone on. So I recorded like a couple minutes of um, video with me talking, but no audio. So I'm gonna start off again. This one I wanna put in something a little bit larger for a, a pot. It's already starting to outgrow this one and it is showing some signs of pest damage on the leaves. There's a little bit of speckling here, which is consistent with spider mites. I did spray this off with some insecticidal soap and I rinsed it off already. Um, I didn't see any spider mites or anything like that, so I'm suspecting this, uh, this does or did have spider mites at one point. This is probably from, like all these little crispy edges are probably from this plant. I'm not even in like the, the frame here. Um, just from adjusting to or acclimating to my house conditions. This one is such a gorgeous leaf and look how large it is. So I did have to cut a, a couple leaves off as they were looking pretty rough. And so yeah, I'm gonna take it out of the pot, put it in something a little bit larger. Plus I'm also going to add this support stake just so that it can support this uh, long kind of floppy stem. So yeah, I'm gonna carefully, without getting hit in the face here, I am running out of space. Okay, so I'm just squeezing the edge of the pot. I'm gonna lay it on its side. I'm gonna try and slide out. Actually, that was pretty easy. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze here in a second, but um, there is a few roots encircling at the bottom. I'm just gonna try and lightly loosen them up a little bit just so they're not encircling like that. Okay, so here is the new pot. Here's the old one. The depth is pretty much the same, but the diameter is uh, much larger on this one. So I'm just going to place it in here. I'm hoping this one, oh, it'll be fine. Yeah, this one works fine. I might have to take a little bit of soil off the bottom. I'm just gonna poke the pencil in the bottom. I'm gonna have to loosen this soil up a bit more than I thought I was gonna have to just because I realized I gotta put the support stake in there. But I'm just trying to make a nice area at the back. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Somewhere along here where I can place the uh, support stake in. Let's try that out. Yeah, that'll work perfect. Something like that. Now I can put this entire root ball into the pot like so have the support stake like that. That way I can tie it up. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna put, I'm actually gonna put some fresh soil in. I can see there's lots of little air pockets down around the root system through the clear pot here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of soil down here. I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit to make sure that all that stuff gets down around the roots. Now I'm just gonna use some of this cheap dollar store fabric or plant tie. The soft portion is the green portion, which is on the back. So you want this against the plant 
and the white portion is the Velcro, it should actually be reversed. Like this should be white or just like make it all green. Uh, but this will be the uh, portion that will be facing uh, outwards. So I don't know why they didn't make the Velcro green, but okay. So I'm gonna do the top portion first because I want this to be the area that is most stable. I'm gonna do it quite snug here if I can. Just like that. Again, making sure it's not so tipsy. Okay, that is way more stable now. That uh, support stake is in there nice and solid. I sprayed off the soil or I gave it some water and uh, yeah, just kind of helped settle it a little bit. So I think this looks absolutely fantastic. Look at this leaf, crazy. Okay, so this is going back on the uh, floor over here with my plants on planks. Got my uh, Soltec grow light right there. I also like to say, if you are interested in, in a Soltec aspect grow light, let's go over here. I do have a discount code, everything15 gets you 15% off a, uh, whatever it is you purchase on uh, Soltec's website. So I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. I'm really happy with how both of these projects turned out, uh, specifically the support stake, I wanted to get it on here. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below in the comment section. If you're wanting to watch more houseplant content, click this video right here. Otherwise, thanks for watching, take care.